Peace, everybody. It is Tuesday, November 13th, 2018. Another episode of Running with Laz. So it's been a little bit over a week since I came to you last time. I had uh, one race, uh, not this past weekend, the weekend before, called the Mustache Run. It's called the Cleveland Mustache Run, but it was actually in um, North Ridgeville, 5K. Um, great course, but man, it rained, drizzling at the start of the race, and about a mile and a half in, it started coming down pretty hard, so pretty wet once the race was over. Um, it was a little bit chilly, but um, it was awesome. It was, I mean, a really decent course. I don't like, um, I'm not the type of person that really likes just a straight out and back. I really like to have um, races that have some turns, but not a significant amount of turns. Just kind of breaks your speed, I guess, a little. Not that I'm fast anyway, so it's not really going to matter, but um, it just kind of breaks your, your, um, your timing up a little bit, I, at least I think. Um, this one had probably more turns than what I would like, especially when, um, I don't know if you know the North Ridgeville area, but we actually finished in a, on a path or an asphalt path, had to do like a little loop around this park and, um, where, you know, this time of the year, all the leaves were falling and it was wet outside. So that really made footing, um, kind of miserable. So you had to be a little bit careful uh, when you were running through there that, um, you know, you didn't take a slip on a wet leaf or something like that. Cause it was, I mean, you know, nothing they could really do. I mean, if you, you'd have to have one of those like riding blower machines and blow the leaves off, but they were all wet. So it wasn't really going to matter at that point. Um, so I think that was the last race. Um, I had given updates on the uh, dead sprint run and the skeleton run. Um, Sam and I did the dead sprint run. She actually did the mustache run too. So um, 5K, my time was 26.55, I believe. And um, sorry, looking up at my board up there. Um, second place in my age group. Won a nice, uh, nice medal here. Think you could see that. It is kind of cool. Cleveland stash dash. And look at I got a stash on my face. So, you know, it actually apropos, I guess. Look at that. <laughs> uh yeah, second place in my um in my age group. Uh first place, actually Kurt Backus won uh first place in, in the um in our age group. They did the um, age categories a little different. It was 51 to 55, and I'm 50, 56 now, 55 at the time of that race. Um, so usually it's 50 to 54. This was a little different. So Kurt was actually in, in my age group. Damn it. Uh, no, it's all good. Um, I was just happy to win an award because I didn't think I was going to win something with that time. Um, Sam won uh First place in her age group. I think she was fourth female overall. She ran like 23, 20, um, something like that. So um, her comeback is going pretty good. You know, she's been doing a lot of working out at Planet Fitness, and um, which has really helped her with um, her running, strength training, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it's that's awesome. Um, she's doing really well. Um, so the next race that I have coming up is, uh, this Sunday, the Cleveland fall classic, they do a half marathon and then they also do a 5k. It's Cleveland West road runners club. I did that, those races probably like four years in a row, but it was like back in the early nineties, um, when I did those races and, um, I always just didn't want to do a run before the Sunday before the turkey trot. So, but this year I'm going to do it. Um, 
think I've got five races left to do. Yes, five races. So the Fall Classic on Sunday, uh, 5K, and then um, big big runs next week. So the uh, Turkey Trot, can you believe it? Seriously, can you believe it that Thanksgiving is next week already? Yes. Wow. Time has just like, that, or this year's just like flown by. Um, so yeah, Fall Classic 5K and then uh, the Turkey Trot on Thursday, the uh, Pigskin Classic on next Saturday, the 24th. And then on um, uh, first weekend in in uh, December, I'm not sure what the day is. I'd have to look it up, and I feel like doing that right now. But um, Christmas Story 5K will be on that Saturday. Um, let me just look it up here to get the actual date. So looks like December 1st will be the um, Christmas story run and then December 2nd will be the reindeer run. So that gives me five races. Um, three more to go to finish up the Hermes challenge series race, which or race series is the, you know, the Turkey trot pigskin classic and the reindeer run. And then that'll be it. All those races will be done for this year. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do it next year or not. I've done it for probably like three, four, five years in a row now, somewhere like that. Um, but not sure if I'm going to do it again next year or not. Maybe just don't want to feel pressured to have to, not pressure, but don't want to feel like I want to do all those. I'd kind of like to do some other races and, and, um, cause here you got, you know, a bunch of the same ones, uh, core races, I guess you would call it, but, um, I don't want to be forced to, to do some of those. So I may not, um, just depends on where the banquet ceremony is this year and if I win or anything like that. So um, we shall see. So pretty excited about that, you know, coming up here in the next um, two weeks or so. And the runs will be finished and then um, no races until sometime next year. I'd really like to find a race to do on January 1st, though, New Year's Day, depending on what day that is. Let's see what New Year's Day is. It's actually on a Tuesday. Um, it would be cool to find a, a race to do on January 1st. If not, I'll just go out and run on January 1st, but it'd kind of be exciting to do that. So, so uh, keep you know looking for some updates on um, uh, my episodes here, Running with Laz. Um, update on the grandbabies. Um, I think I told you that they were... Um, they were just born, I believe, the last um, um, episode that I did, because they were born on the 23rd, and um, I believe I did an episode um, after that. So, um, born uh, 23rd, be th actually three weeks ago today, and um, Lucy uh, actually just came home from the hospital yesterday, uh, thank you thank the Lord. And then, uh, Evie is, um, she'll probably be coming home maybe on Friday. So, you know, Evie was the smaller of the two. Um, and, uh, she's learning her way through the world and, um, you know, she will, she will be coming home soon. It was, it was interesting. I was talking to Shannon earlier today. And, uh, so, you know, Evie's first night at home, I'm sorry, um, Lucy's first night at home, or actually, you know, Lucy and Evie's first night away from each other in nine months, you know, because they were together and, and um, you know, Shannon's tummy and, uh, you know, they were together pretty much the whole time in, in uh, NICU. So this was actually their first night apart. And um, Shannon said that neither one of them slept well. So, you know, I get that. It's like, you know, their soulmate or their person um, that they've spent this last nine months with together. Um, they're not together. So um, that's always a challenge. It's always uh, interesting. So, um, you know, you look for my post on Facebook. Uh, I usually share everything that, that Shannon puts out there and 
Um, we're keeping our fingers crossed and saying our prayers that um, Ibu will, you know, get to come home on on Friday. So um, definitely, hopefully before um, Thanksgiving, which is uh, next Thursday. So um, we shall see. Everybody, if you could, you know, just say a um, quick prayer. I mean, whatever you believe in, just, you know, keep some happy thoughts or whatever uh, for Shannon, John, and Caleb, Lucy, and Evie, and the family there that um, Evie will be coming home soon. So, all right, my friends, um, again, keep you, keep looking for the episodes, and um, we'll be finishing up the uh, races here in the next couple weeks. I will probably do a um, uh, another episode uh, Monday or Tuesday after the fall classic. And then um, definitely, you know, after the turkey trot and um, the pigskin classic. Uh, go Buckeyes. Yes. Looks like they're both um, um, Ohio State and Michigan will probably be one lost teams going into that last game of the year uh, played at the shoe. So uh, Buckeyes. You got to pull it off, man, if you want a shot at even being considered for that playoff. So, all right, everybody, enough talking about football and all that junk um, since this is a running episode. All right, I will talk to you all soon. Peace, love, hippiness, and um, have an awesome, awesome day and uh, another episode of Running with Laz.